What's up everybody, welcome to Cosplay Tutorial episode number 3 on a Farming Simulator 2019. I am Simulation for the Nation and today we're going to be covering how to use the fertilizer and seeding functionality. Uh, now this is very similar to the episode we did uh, yesterday which is uh, finished over there, that was the field work, but with a few small tweaks and variations that we need to consider. Uh, so to start with we're going to look at seeding, we're going to jump into our K7210. Uh, this is the default in-game with the Amazon D830 Super. Uh, it already comes full of grain as well, which is ideal. So the first thing we want to do when we're in here, as always, is right-click on the mouse and it brings up our course play generation. Uh, now, what we need to make sure that we do, first things first, is when you come to course play control, you want to make sure this time you select this button here, which is the fourth along from the left, and it is called Fertilizer and Seed. Make sure that one's enabled. If you use the field work uh, toggle, your machine will not move, it will get stuck and it won't realize, it won't be able to complete the course because it recognizes it has a seeder on the back, but uh, in reality you are telling it that it doesn't. Uh, so we need to make sure we have fertilizer and seeding enabled. When we do, uh, we can go about this two different ways once again, but what we're going to do this time is jump into the circular generator there for advanced settings. Uh, first thing as always, we need to make sure we're in the correct field. We're in field 26 today. So let's get that enabled. Uh, likewise, uh, to field 25 yesterday, we don't need to do a headland today because we are not, it's a nice open field setting. Uh, starting vehicle location is going to be our current location because we're in a nice place in the southwest corner of the field. And we're going to go uh, head east, which is the direction that we're facing, which is fantastic. Uh, now, we're not going to skip any rows here, everything else is remaining as it is, as we'd expect it to be, so that's great. We're going to get this generated, and as you can see, our course has been created there. Now, that's all well and good, we can hit back. Depending upon how you're playing the game, there's a few things you might want to consider at this stage. Uh, if you hit the escape button, uh, then you can go into your settings menu here. We want to pay particular attention to this section here. So, in particular, when we're looking at seeding and spreading, for example, uh, you have helper refill seed, helper refill fertilizer, helper refill slurry, helper refill manure. You want to make sure that these are set to your preferences. And what I mean by that is that we need to ensure that if you don't have a lot of money and you want to use the seed that you have bought, we need to make sure that that is turned off. Uh, the same can be said for fertilizer and we need to turn that off as well. If we don't, what will happen is when we commence the course play route, it will just buy the seed as it's using it. So you'll find that your the bank balance will start to deplete very, very quickly. So obviously that's not ideal. Uh, so we're going to turn helper seed refill off right now, and then we're going to exit out of the menu. We've got our working bit set to three meters there, which is correct for this little size of drill. Uh, so what we're going to do, we are, like last time, we're going to, let's go start at the first waypoint, and away it goes. And as you can see already, we just minimize this down. You can see that we start to drill our crop there. Our seed is going down gradually in the bottom right corner. Uh, that is because we are using what is in the tank. And you can see our bank balance isn't changing there, which is good. Uh, so that is seed in, in a nutshell. Very simple, very easy in relation to uh, how you would use uh, field work, for example. Uh, the only difference you could potentially have here as well is uh, should you enable headlands as well. You can choose whether you want to run the headlands first or at the end. Typically I would probably say at the end. Uh, later down, down the line we may well see the introduction of various different uh, scripts such as Proceed. If that comes in that is something that you could integrate as well. But for right now we obviously don't have that uh, and that is a story for a different day. But we're going to jump out. We're going to let him finish up there. He can just keep drilling away till his heart's content. And as we cross over the valley here, I took the liberty to purchase another vehicle. Uh, and we've got a fertilizer spreader on the back of there. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show you what happens when you keep, uh, when you when you don't disable, uh, also when you keep buy seed enabled. Uh, we'll see the differences there. Uh, the only difference being as well with this, what we're going to do, we're going to put a headland on here. So we're going to jump in. Tractor starts up as always. Small field here, so it won't take too long, but let's just, uh, we need to click on fertilize and seed in. We go back into our little toggle arrow here. Automatically, it's set us at 24 meters for the width of the spreader. 
And we're going to be in field 19, so once again, let's go field 19. Uh, we're going to do one headland today. Uh, as you can see here, it gives us a few more options, so we have headland passes, so we're only going to do one. Uh, which way would we like to do it, clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, start working on the headland pass, yes. Uh, and then we're going to do up and downs as well. Uh, so, let's go generate course. And you can see, because of the length of the field here, it just gives us one narrow little pass through the middle there, which looks pretty darn perfect, actually. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go back into our toggle, once it's auto saved, and we're going to have, we're going to turn helper refill fertilizer to buy. Now you can see I've already put 2,000 uh, litres of seed in there, or fertilizer in there, but let's just go start at first waypoint. This gives you an idea as well, if you start further away from the uh, waypoint, your vehicle will catch up and it will identify where the starting point is. And then it'll get itself right in line, and away it goes. Now immediately you can see we are spreading fertilizer, but down here mine uh, quantity in the tank in the hopper is not reducing as you'd expect. However, my uh, bank balance is depleting very quickly. So we want to be absolutely sure that we know that that is enabled to your preferences. Otherwise, you could find yourself, you set course play away on the large field, come back and you have uh, lost a large, large quantity of your, your funds, uh, which nobody wants to see. And then in a second here, it's just going to rumble all the way over to the end. And lo and behold, it will be done. Just like that. Meanwhile, over on the far side, the case is still going strong. Seeing um, fertilizer is very easy. Spraying is also exactly the same as this, uh, depending upon what setup you would use. Uh, and again, always make sure you turn on and off uh, the correct helper settings in the main menu. Uh, so that is it for the next, for the latest, for episode number three of the course play guide. Uh, by and there he goes, he's all done. When you get to the end there, you will see that we get the blue warning suggesting that the course play has finished. Uh, just like that, you can come back, you can take him to the next field, and he's good to go. So that's it. That is episode number three in the books for Cosplay on Farming Simulator 19. I have been Simulation for the Nation. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you feel like you've learned something here, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation if you've yet to do so. And we'll see you in the next one.